Hello everyone, welcome to another easy programming tutorial with C++. This is my first tutorial of 2012. Uh, I hope you've all had a happy new year and have enjoyed your winter break. Um, it's been an, about a month since I started my, since I did my last tutorial. Uh, in between that I've started a new job which has been taking up a lot of time as well as a few other projects. And for this program I'm kind of multitasking because I'm using a new um, screen capture software which is Adobe kind of Captivate. I have to do some research for my job and um, I thought what better way than to make a C++ tut tutorial in the process, multitask and get everything out. Uh, in this program I'm answering a request that was made back in December, early December by someone who didn't understand global and local variables. I realized that I haven't explained it in depth in any of my programs and I thought I'd just get that out of the way, you know, make a short tutorial, um, go back to one of the basics. Um, I realized that it, you know, you expect some programs, the programs to get more advanced, but uh, due to my lack of time and you know, being backed up on requests, I thought I'd just do this and you know, get this out of the way. Well, anyway, um, so what is a global variable? You know, a global variable is a variable that can be seen everywhere in the program. Um, these variables are generated somewhere in the system, early in the system. And what you have in front of you is just the basic setup that I usually use for all my programs. You know, we're including IO stream and string. Um, and we're going to declare our global variable. You do this in the you do this before outside of any function before your main function but after your headers just so you know the program knows you know what's being included since we're including string we're going to include string we're going to call this variable var var call it whatever you want this is a global variable so var has now is not defined as this is a global variable and this is how it will be used everywhere in in this program. Um, if you don't define it anywhere else in the program, this will be equal to this is a global variable. So if you output it in the main program, you just see out var and you run it. Oh, five fingers. Okay. And you will see it says that this is a global variable. No, that's what it is. And now what is a local variable? A local variable are only seen within the function or section being used. In this case, if we declare var again here, this is a local variable within int main. If you go to another function, let's say you have a void function later on, you want to include var again, the global variable will be definition of the global variable will be used when you're outputting in the case. Um, most of the time you won't have local variables and global variables with the same name. Um, generally programs will use different names but sometimes you have to use them just to show that the global variable, the value of it changes. Um, for simple programs like this where you have just a few variables even if you have uh, several dozen, you know, I recommend that you use different names just to avoid confusion. But if you're working on a huge program that has maybe hundreds of variables, then sometimes you need to use the same thing over again just to show that the variable value changes in, from one place to another. Now let's define var inside of the main function and we'll call it this is a local variable just to show the difference and if you output this bar we will see two different answers first it'll be var see so this is the global variable that part is this output because this var is taking everything from the global variable setting up here and when we define redefine variable as a local variable here and when we go down here it becomes a local variable um, as I said before you know this is global variables are defined everywhere in the program let's say you set up another function called void variable you can call it anything you want you don't need to pass any parameters or arguments in this we'll just do cout var and line 
um, you'll have to call the programs from somewhere here. You'll do variable. Um, what do you think this um, the value of var will be? It will be the global variable since it's defined everywhere. Since this is a local function and it's not and it doesn't have a definition of what var is, uh, it will. And if you run it, it will actually be. Um, it'll show you the global variable result. Let's run it. Okay, I have an error somewhere. Let's see. Oh yeah, I have. I didn't define the variable here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you gotta have a header. If you run it, it'll run. See, global variable, local variable, global variable. If you were to pass down the value of variable var from here to here, then then that would be a different story. You want to, if you want to test it out, we can do that as well. We can do string. You don't have to send down var. Global variable, global variable. I didn't send it down. Let's do this. Try this local variable. Yeah, there we go. See, you're sending down the local variable value, and since you define it, you're sending down var. You know, you got sometimes you got to define it. Um, sometimes you don't. You know, it programs work differently. But let's say you don't want to do this. You want to let's say you want you want to output something again. I see we have the global variables, right? We'll get rid of the function for now, the void function. And let's say you want to output var again. But you want this value to be the global value, the global variable value. Um, since you already defined what var is here in this local variable as a local variable, if you output it again and again, it'll be, it'll show that it's a local variable. There are ways to get around it, but let's show you. Uh, this is global variable local and local, of course. But how do you get around it? You use something called the global scope operator. It's just two colons. When you use this, it tells the program that whatever follows the global scope operator you want to use the global variables. You usually use this when you're using class or struct sometimes if you want to reference back to something you know to a global scale. And if you press enter, if you debug it, let's see it run. Here, global variable, local variable, global variable. So there are always ways to get around the local variable and global variable. You know this is a cool thing to know if you want to get thing get around things. And um and I'll put the functions back in there. And if you run it, you need to have global variable three times, local variable once, of course. You know, global variables and local variables aren't aren't that complicated. Um, and if you have any questions about this, you know, feel free to ask. You know, global variable, local, global. You know, it's really easy to understand. You just have to understand that global variables are seen by the whole program, and local variables are just within a function or within a section. You can have local variables within if statements, within while loops. It'll that variable will be defined just for that loop, just for that function, and you know that's how it works. Uh, you know, thanks for watching the first C++ tutorial of 2012. Uh, remember to visit easyprogramming.net for all my other tutorials and feel free to send me emails if you have suggestions if you need help. I've helped out tons of people since launching the website. Uh, I know I may not be the best programmer out there and hopefully this program, this tutorial has helped you understand a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.